having a strategy or a set of guiding principles and criteria that people in your organization can use to make decisions every day, having a strategy is really important. It helps you get people paying attention to the right things, blocking out the things that matter less, and taking your scarce resources and using them on the things that are the biggest opportunity. So it really matters. But it's so common that organizations don't even have a strategy. They just have a set of projects that they call the strategy. And that's not strategy. That's just tactics. So we're going through a series of videos on how you can facilitate your own strategic planning conversation. So in the previous video, I talked about the setting the North Star, your purpose and your strategic goals. I thought it was important to pop in and just talk about what strategic goals are and how they're different from operational goals. Because often at the top of a strategy map, I see lots of operational goals. So an operational goal is really a measure of the current health of your organization. So it might be your revenue, your gross margin, your net promoter score of your customers, your employee engagement, your turnover levels. All of those things matter and they matter a lot but they really matter today and they're about the current health of your organization. So we could have an organization that's currently extremely healthy, but is not future-proofed, is not ready for the disruption that might be coming. And there are so many Harvard Business Review case studies about these examples, but think Kodak, for example. So just having goals around your operational or organizational health is not sufficient and it's also not going to guide strategic thinking. So you need a set of goals that I would call strategic goals and they are about the future health of your organization. And when I say health, I really mean about existential kinds of questions. Are we setting ourselves up to be able to capitalize on the opportunities that will come in the environment and to mitigate threats that may, be, <laughs> that may be coming at us. So that's the kind of measure you want in a strategic goal. So for example, you may be a, a relatively small business and right now you're bootstrapping and you're, you're paying for things out of cash flow, but at some point you're gonna stall and you're gonna need access to capital. It might be at that point you need some way to access capital like an initial public offering. So it might be that being of a certain size and scale and readiness for an IPO is a great strategic goal. Uh, it might be that there's something about the mix. You are in a product sales company and you see the world is moving to subscription-based models, SaaS models, all these sorts of things that are coming in the world. And you think, ooh, we have 100% of our revenue selling a product in a box. And we are going to measure how much of our mix do we move over to subscription-based, cloud-based, that sort of thing. Premises versus cloud-based is another mix that we're seeing happen a lot in different companies. It may be that you are in a certain market. Maybe you're a food company and you're primarily in a market that's really about let's say food for kids, uh, snackable things and, and that sort of thing. And what you want to do is build out a new business to diversify into a health food space, into a senior citizen space, all those sorts of things. So the idea is strategic goals, two, three, a very small set of them are what are the most critical indicators that our company is future-proofed, that we are more able to capitalize on opportunities that come, and we are better positioned to mitigate risks. Those are the things that should guide your strategy. Because as you're thinking about it, okay, if we need to shift our mix, that's gonna create very different and much more creative conversations about what we need to do differently than if we're just saying we have $20 million in revenue and we need to get to $25 million in revenue. So those organizational health goals, they matter a lot. You should be measuring those all the time. You should have key performance indicators and a dashboard of those, but please don't confuse those with your strategic goals. Strategic goals measure the very small number of things that will make a difference in whether your business is in business in three years time. Okay, more, let's get back to the strategic planning process and talk about where we go from goals.